What's up guys, Elijah here at Just Be Creative. Is it just me or does the English language suck? American English is basically a combination of German, Latin, and French, which combined is like, you're flat. Hence why we have stuff like silent letters. Silent letters? What? No, literally. What? Or how about the also famous pterodactyl? And if that doesn't fly your kite, how about the good old fashioned tsunami? Or how about if you just simply gonna know something? All right, maybe you guys have had a new good. Or perhaps you'd like me to shed a little bit more ligate on the situation. Our list is pretty comprehensive. Or how about those words that sound exactly the same but actually mean something totally different? Seen, seen, here, here, there, there, they are, a rock. Don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful that we have a language to communicate with. But the annoying thing about American English is that it's almost constantly changing. We add new words to the dictionary. Why the heck is tone in the dictionary? It's not a word, that was a spelling mistake. I just wish that people would take a moment longer to consider what they are writing or saying before they say it. For instance, before I started paying attention to what I would say, I used to say like a lot. Like a lot, like a lot, like a lot, like a lot. But what gets me are the people who use the F word basically in place of the word like or um. So what are you gonna do? So I was like, you know, I'm thinking that maybe we should like, um, you know, um, I don't know, go, no, I'm going to movie and maybe after that we can go. That was hardly intelligible. Of course, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I have a confession to make that might frighten you. When I was younger, I used to curse. I also used to use the word then instead of then. And sometimes it can be very important to get those correct. So rather than posting a status on Facebook that says, oh, of course, I'd rather meet a celebrity than have some homeless guy pee on me. But how it really would have come out, of course, I'd be better meet a celebrity than let some homeless guy pee on me. It is most probable that you will never see me getting upset over a spelling mistake. Why? Because I myself am not a fantastic speller. <laughs> And it's not like I'm bad at spelling. I am, I'm decent. I can spell big words. <laughs> but what I'm better with is pronunciation and definition, which to me, unless I'm writing a letter, is more important. <laughs> words have meaning, and they affect us. I'll let you guys figure out whether that is effect or effect. Kind of like I love you or I hate you. Those are some of the most powerful sets of words that people ever use. And yet people don't even know what those words mean anymore. Saying that I hate you is like wishing death on someone. Like you don't even care if that person dies. And you see that all the time. I mean. You really don't wish that person was dead, you might think you do, but if they died, you'd feel kind of like a jerk. Or I love you. What kind of love are you talking about? There are at least five different kinds of love, and hopefully you don't love everything the same. So consider what type of love you are referencing to when you tell someone you love them. I guess really the whole principle about this video is that we should consider our words wisely. Because sometimes our words are all that we have. They affect the people around us positively and or negatively. So please, please, oh please, speak responsibly, my friends. Woo, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I hope this wasn't too pessimistic for you guys. I do have hope in my generation that we actually will use words appropriately. I don't think our generation is stupid. To illustrate my confidence in this, I've got 300 and some odd subscribers right now, and I know that a decent amount of you are more than likely good writers. So I would like to give you guys a chance to collaborate with me on a video script. If you are interested, just leave me a comment down below saying you would like to help me write one of my scripts, and we will see about collaborating on a future O2L review script, where you guys will help me write my jokes, my lines, and I will just simply act it out and give you guys full credit for the writing of the material. And lastly, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really love and appreciate you so, so very much. If you haven't already, feel free to check out my previous reviews of O2L, as well as uh, other little vlogs and rants that I'll be making. The next one that I'm making is going to be about my confessions. Also, I'll be looking for a music video this week. I plan on doing one that I think you guys will really like. I will see you guys Monday and Friday. Don't worry, Gato, because I'm Mashita.